Hello, my crafty goblins and ghouls. I hope you're having a bootastic day. Welcome to day nine of the 13 days of Halloween series hosted by Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking, Michelle Randolph from Shabby Chic Chick, and yours truly, Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. I'm very excited to present my Sugar Skull Bride. I created this project using a digital file that I purchased from inkon3.com. This was a design created by Florette Bloom for her Dia de los Muertos SVG kit. Yesterday, I showed you the groom, which is also from the kit. This project was so much fun to work on, and I really loved having an opportunity to use these fun and unexpected colors of the pinks and the purples. This is not your traditional Halloween colors, but I think it totally worked for these projects. The skull is the same base that we created yesterday for the groom. However, for this project, I decided to go in a bit more whimsical fashion, and I have these beautiful sugar skulls skulls in pink and purple and black as the designer cardstock and I really love the way that turned out. I added in this purple rhinestone trim. I have glitter cardstock surrounding the eye. The top I've created this beautiful headdress and I embellished that with these blue and rhinestone pearls. On the side you can see these beautiful handmade flowers and I've created a bit of sparkle to it using my glitterific hologram paint. Here we've got this curly pink ribbon. We've got this dark purple and pink and more rhinestone. I think that looks so pretty. On the back, you can see more of the paper that I use in these beautiful sugar skulls adorning it. This is the other side. These flowers are so large and beautiful, and they've got so much dimension to them. I love the lacy detail of this flower here. Back here, we have a hand-rolled flower and then a large pink flower on the top. Similar to the groom's skull, this top comes off, and inside I have these LED lights. However, you can put in candy or a small treat if you like. Here's a close-up of the sugar skull and that fun and whimsical paper. Here's a close-up of the headdress, and I just think that looks so pretty, and I love this ribbon detail. I've gathered the groom, and the two make a lovely couple. This is a perfect addition if you're having a Dias de la Muertos celebration, a birthday, or a wedding. It's also great for a Halloween decoration. Now that I've reviewed my Sugar Skull Bride, I'm going to gather my materials so that we can make this together. I've gathered all the materials to make our Sugar Skull Bride. I am using a digital file by Ink on 3. It's from their Dia de los Muertos 3D SVG kit. In this kit, you receive several different projects, and we're focusing today on the bride. So yesterday, I showed you how to make the base of the skull. We're going to make the top of the skull today, as well as the decorative elements that go on top. The paper collection that I'm using for this project is by Craftsmart, and it is called Pinkaboo. In yesterday's video, I showed you how to make the base of the skull as well as a top hat for the groom. I've already gone ahead and made the skull for the bride, so all we need to do is put the decorative panels on and then we'll make the top for the skull. So I have the decorative panels here. Let's start gluing them down. We're going to get it lined up right at the top. Give this a few seconds to hold. And keep in mind, there will be a slight border around this decorative piece. We're going to glue this piece down next. We're going to line that right up next to the other piece. I'm going to go ahead and glue the rest of these panels on, and then we can begin working on the top of the skull. So I've put the decorative panels on our sugar skull. I really love this paper. Let's put this aside and we're going to make this skull cap. So you have these pieces and they're not numbered, they're all the same. And then we're going to glue them together just like so. And I also have the decorative panels. And just like we did for the groom skeleton, I have inked all of the sides with this purple marker as well as the decorative paper. So let's start gluing these pieces together. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the tabs. We're going to line this top piece up. 
make sure there's a good strong attachment before you move forward. And again, you want to make sure that these pieces are aligned because this is the bottom of the top of the skull. And I've already gone ahead and folded along the score lines. As we learned yesterday, it's very important to fold along the score lines before you start gluing because that will help give the paper the curve that you need. Okay, just make sure each of the tabs are glued down just like so. And then you want to glue the rest of the tabs down. Let's move on to the next piece. And we're going to have six of these panels that we will need to glue together. I'm going to finish gluing these pieces together and then I'll be right back. I have all of the panels glued together. Let's go ahead and close up the skull. Okay, I'm going to get these tabs glued down first on the bottom and then work my way up. So now the top of our skull is assembled. Let's turn this over. We're going to grab one of these pieces and put glue on it. And that's going to go on the base right here. And we're just going to fit this right here. Give that a nice firm press. We're going to put glue on these tabs here. And we're going to glue this down. So you want to just line up this flat side to the flat tab here. And this just fits right into place. I'm going to flip this over and use my bone folder to give this a nice burnishing. Okay, now we can take our decorative panels and start to add them on. Before I do that, I'm just going to give them a little curve. This will make it go on a bit easier. And now we're just going to start gluing down the panels. I'm going to start right here, right up to that perforation line, just like we did on the actual skull. Make sure everything is lined up. I'm going to finish gluing on these panels and then we will begin decorating our skull. Our skull cap is complete. We can put that on top. We're going to put this skull aside and now we're going to begin to make the flowers. I have gathered the petals for the first flower that we're going to make. The flowers are going to go on top of the bride's skull. So I've gone ahead and I've inked each of the petals. And you'll notice that all the petals are curved. What I've done is I've simply taken one of these pick-me-up tools and I've used the pokey edge on this side and I've just rolled it around like so for each of the petals and it gives it a nice curve. To make this flower you will have five individual petals, one base, you'll have a stamen that looks like this and then two parts that have three petals. To start we're going to glue each one of these petals onto this base just like so. Okay. And then we're going to put the next piece on and we're going to overlap it slightly. So let me get my art glitter glue. And I'm going to put glue right here on the base. And we're going to line this piece up right with this straight piece here. Okay, give that a few seconds to hold. I'm going to take your next petal. We're going to glue that right next to it and slightly overlap it. You'll notice that the petals fit perfectly inside one another. We're going to go all the way around and there we have one more piece. Okay, so we have a nice back side to this flower. Then you want to take one of these three part petals. Grab your hot glue gun and we're going to put a little bit of glue right here in the center and we're going to offset this piece just like so. Give that a few seconds to hold. This is starting to take shape nicely. Then we're going to put more hot glue in the center and we're going to offset this piece right here. And then we're going to take this piece 
And we're going to make sure that there's a nice roll here. We're going to take a little bit of hot glue and put it right here. And we're going to roll this onto itself. This is a stamen that we're making. And then we're going to fold it up just like so. And we're going to glue these petals together. And then we want to put glue here in the center. And we're going to stick this right here in the middle. Okay. And there is our first flower. Let's move on to the next flower. Now we're going to make our lacy rose. In your file, you will receive two of these to include on the skull. So similar to the first rose, I've gone ahead and just used my little pokey tool. You could use a skewer, anything thin, a dowel to curve the edges. You're gonna have six individual petals, one small hexagon piece. You'll have two pieces that look like this. You'll have a solid stamen and an open stamen. And then you'll have six open petals like this and then a hexagon. And then finally, you'll have a piece that looks like this. So we are going to take this hexagon and we're going to start gluing the individual petals, just like we did in the first flower. Glue that down just like so. And I'm gluing it right up to this little area here where there's an indent. You want to slightly overlap them, and then we'll glue our last piece down. Okay, so now you want to put this aside. You want to grab these open pieces. We're going to glue these pieces down and overlap, just like we did this part here. finish it off. Now you want to glue your solid petal and your lacy petal and we're going to put this right here in the center at an offset. So we'll go right here. Now you want to grab these two pieces before we glue them down to the flower we want to offset these just like so. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. Put that right down. We're going to put these pieces right here in the center. You want to grab this piece and that's going to be glued right in the center also at an offset. Okay so let's set that aside. You want to take this piece, this solid piece, let me curve this a little bit more. You want to turn, curl it in on top of itself. And we're going to glue it just like this. I'm going to put a little bit of our glitter glue here just to roll it on top of itself to create the stamen. And you can make this as tight as you want. And then we're going to fold this up just like so. And we're going to put glue on these sides here to close up the stamen. So there's a score mark on the bottom here, so that allows you to just set it in the center straight up just like that. But before we do that, you want to grab this piece, I'm going to grab a little bit of a hot glue, put a dab of glue right here. We're going to put this piece right in the center, and then what we're going to do is glue these individual sides to the side of the stamen. We don't want it closed all together, what we want to do is just glue it so that you have a little piece sticking out just like that. And we're going to do that on both sides. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue here on that side, and a little bit of glue on this side, and just hold it just like so. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. 
we're going to put a little dab of glue here and here. So let's glue this into the center of the flower. And just stick that down and our flower is complete. Now we're going to do that to the other petal so we'll have two flowers that look just like this. Next we're going to make our rolled flower. I've gone ahead and rolled this one. I'm letting this one dry. To make this rolled flower I'm going to spray a little bit of water and I just have this small recollection spritzer here. just want to give it a few spritz. You don't want it to be saturated. So you really just want to loosen the fibers of the paper so it'll be easier to roll. I'm going to take my quilling tool. This one I'm using is by Crafter's Companion. So all I'm going to do is thread the paper through the quill and just start turning. This is a very easy process. You want to turn it all the way. Okay, and I'm doing this fairly tight, but I'll show you how to adjust that in just a moment. And then we can take the quill out. I'm going to put this to the side to let the paper dry a little bit. But we can take this one. I'm going to open this flower up, and then I'm going to put some hot glue right here on the bottom. And there you have your rolled flower. In our file, we have two of these rolled flowers. And you know, you can go around and curve the sides if you'd like, just to give it a bit more realistic look. I'm just taking my fingers and bending it down. Okay, so there are our rolled flowers. These are our lacy roses. And this is the large rose, which is going to go on the top of the skull. Let me bring that back here. I'm going to decorate the skull and put the rhinestones on like I've done for this one. And then we can start gluing down the flowers. I'll be right back. I've gone ahead and added the rhinestone. Now let's decorate the top part of the skull cap. So I've measured out ribbon that's just about nine inches long. And I've got this purple satin and this pink grow grain and the rhinestone and what we're going to do is just layer them I think we'll have the purple on the top and what we want to do is just fold it in half like so and then we're going to take a bead of hot glue and glue it in the center here and then just fold this in half we can glue this to the side of the skull just like so okay so I think we're going to glue this right here and this is going to be covered with the flowers anyway so but we need to glue this down before we put the flowers down so give this a second to hold okay and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side I'm going to put the glue right here. Nice. So I finished adding in the decorative trim. I'm going to take the top off so we can begin to add the flowers. Okay, so we're first going to add this large pink flower here, right in the center. You want to grab your two rolled flowers. These are going to go right here on the side. Now what you want to do is you're going to tuck this under the leaves just like so. We're going to tuck that right in here. Give that a few seconds to hold. We're going to stick this one right here. And we're going to nestle that in here right here. And then we're going to take these big roses and they are going to go on the side right here. So what you want to do is mold the leaves so it fits just right under this purple flower here. So we're going to put the glue on the back of this a good amount and then we're going to 
put this in right here. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to nestle this right here. That looks really pretty. You may need to adjust these flowers just a little bit. Now what we want to do is add in some of the leaves. I have these leaves here and I've already gone ahead and curled them to give them a three-dimensional feel. And to do that, you want to take this flat leaf, and again, I'm using this tool, and I'm just simply curling the leaf around, just like so. So we're going to add some of these randomly in the front and in the back. I'm going to go ahead and add in the leaves and some other embellishments, and then I'll come back with the final project reveal. This is my completed project. And I love the way my Sugar Skull Bride turned out. I love this beautiful floral headdress. I further embellished it with these blue rhinestone and pearl trims. This blue matches the blue in the groom's hat. I've added this purple rhinestone throughout the face. And I love the beautiful trims on the side. This concludes my review of my Sugar Skull Bride and Groom. Hopefully I've inspired you with new and creative ideas. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave me a comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell so you'll never miss a video. Please be sure to join me tomorrow for day 10 of our 13 Days of Halloween series to see my next spooky and fun project. Also, please stop by and visit my friends Rosa Kelly scrapbooking and Michelle Randolph from Shabby Chic Chick to see their fun project. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now and happy crafting. Mm -hmm.